Less than a week back from Italy, we're back in the lab with the man. Ooh, just cool juice yeah. box, man. <laughs> juice box, most. Yeah. That's fucking sick. It's the one he got done in Italy. Yeah. All right, so what we got cooking today? A bunch of bullshit. <laughs> yeah. A bunch of script and some freehand work. No, I was just saying it. This is a cool sleeve because we spent like some hours building it. Yeah. And so like, there's not another arm that looks like this. Oh, 100%. You know I mean? Yeah. So we got this to kind of mock the other hand a little bit. Cool juice. We're gonna shade that one in a little bit. I got that one in Italy. Then we got this quote from J. Cole: "Pain is just a lack of understanding. If we could understand it all, <laughs> would we feel no pain?" And then it says, God must feel no pain. And then we got the devil at the crossroads, kind of just to represent like never selling my soul. And then we got like a warrior and a devil right there. So that's what we're running. And then we're going to give the boxer, turn him into, we're not really sure, but we're going to add some scars, a little bit of Baki action. That'll turn out sick. And then we're going to black out the elbow. And that's what we got today. Jordan's in for a treat. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get it. Jordan tattoos, baby. Hold on, uh, I got a duffel bag full of cash, nigga, and now I'm playing to spin it. I seen this music game was a known shit. Had to put my hand up in it. I know certain niggas, that's certain killers, but shit. This is from a song called Once an Addict by J. Cole. It's my cousin's like favorite song, we bonded over this song a lot, kind of like shows his life a little bit in the song. And so it goes, pain, this is like for the intro of the song, it goes, pain is just a lack of understanding. If we could understand it all, would we feel no pain? God must feel no pain. Oh! <laughs> and then, whenever I was in Italy, I, um, I drew this on me. Uh, and the train and basically so it's like devil at the crossroads and so this is like a warrior that I drew right there and it's like I never am going to sell my soul and then we're gonna shade the just cool juice got this from my mom because she used to uh, give me apple juice and a story from the curious George book the big yellow book whenever I was a kid and I was like I was a pretty sh pretty shy little kid so I threw on like the just cool juice because maybe it played a part in me feeling like like I'm pretty cool now so that and then so we wanted to play something off with like this right here so then jordan went crazy mm. and we got this design now we're gonna throw some scars on mr boxer we're gonna call it baki and then we're gonna black out my elbow for the broken glass and see if jordan will continue which he probably will not but <laughs> <laughs> whenever i'm here i just i'm like okay let's just let's go as long as we can you wanna push all night? Let's push all night. <laughs> killers, but shit, handling business. I like my bitches bad with a fat ass. We damned if I ain't hitting. I got a duffel bag full of cash, nigga, and now I'm playing to spin it. I seen this music game was a known shit. Had to put my hand up in it. I know certain niggas, that's certain killers, but shit, handling business. I like my bitches bad with a fat ass. We damned if I ain't hitting. I got a couple cuts with the. He put like 10 times more pressure on it right there. Right after I said that, I swear. I'm I have a high tolerance to pain when it comes to tattoos but this elbow is worse than 16 hours straight on my back, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta leave your arm like is this. Is there more? Go if there's more. Okay. Go, man, go. <laughs> 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 Alright, yeah, so we went a little bit different with this. We got like the scars from, from Baki. But then we made it kind of more like Mike. We added uh, his Days of Grace tattoo, uh, but got his hairline and stuff, so it looks a little bit more like his head doesn't just go into space. And then I've got a little bit of shading on the shorts. And we just noticed how they, like, I guess Jordan probably knew how they connect like that. Yeah, they blacked out the elbow. That was some pain. I don't even know which vlog this is, I'm like two vlogs behind right now, so. This is our first run on the samples. It's the back of the tee. We're actually gonna drop it where it's gonna be white graphic, black tee, and then we'll do the tan with the black graphic. That'll be the first drop. I'm gonna do pre-order soon. Uh, pre-order might already be out by now. It is, link in the bio. Shout out to Jordan as well, because I think I did like the, the Drew X Crone. I, I drew that, mm -hmm. and then he did everything else, so. This is the man. We got a lot more coming. Without you, bro. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate All right. it. Much love. One love. Yeah, we 
we in Hawaii. Hawaii. Living our best life. And we've been here for almost a full day and we just got weed, so. Max said, no filming today. Max said, I've been filming non-stop, so I'm gonna take a little break. Yeah, we in Hawaii and shit. Yeah. I feel like my parents yeah. came with me. Here's our child. Except they do drugs with me. When I told my family that we were going to Hawaii, they were like, oh, that'll be so fun for you too. And I was like, no, Drew's no. coming with us. <laughs> yeah, I'm more important than your dog. Don't ever say some shit like that about Jojo again. Just did. Jojo loves me the most, so. Because I'm like the cool uncle. No, you're her boyfriend. She's like, yeah. you and Jason are like her boyfriends and she's in love with you guys. She fucking loves you, bro. Hey, yeah, he's gonna, oh, shit. He's gonna kill the whole clan. <laughs> he's plotting his revenge. Go, go, go! What we got? What we got? Oh. Oh. oh, Friday at 99, Latanya bore a second child. She tried a year before, but lost it. Second time around, C section kept my head round, quarter around my neck. Mama saw me lay my head down right above her chest. You was Nasty, like, hey. dude. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, we in Hawaii and shit. Sunset. Look how beautiful, how beautiful that shit is. Now look at this ugly ass dual tip. <laughs> <laughs> POV, Marin needs pictures immediately. Best buds. <laughs> Mama know me best. You were supposed to hold me through the rain. Pain in my chest. Screaming at me, calling me insane. You had me convinced. Pill popping, filling me with shame. Say I needed it. I was hooked on phonics, hooked on X for my anxiety. Adderall was power in my brain. I couldn't try to sleep. The night tears from the Seroquel had me fighting sleep. Several times I tried to end my pain and leave earth quietly. Tried to flee the devil. How I make the hell's most wanted list. Trying to be myself, but ultimately lacking confidence. Result of my Mama actively trying to make me hate myself. I'm in my head, can hardly save myself. Living my dreams to find a different ways to break myself. I know I'm tripping. At last. Green blunt. Lunch. Q&A with Max Taylor. What's your favorite color? Black. Blue. I knew it was blue. How many kids do you want? Two. Two, a boy and a girl, the boy older, about two years. When's the last time you felt uncomfortable? When that lady gave me a stare down, I did bark. <laughs> we drove by them and I barked at the couple and we awkwardly met in the little mart at the gas station and she like gave me a stare down and I was like, oh, that's kind of awkward. When did you first smoke the Zaw? The first um, high I ever had was from one of them carts, bro. It was Jordan's. I double hit a cart blinker. First time ever. <laughs> On the way to Panda Express, it was 20 minutes away. No water, dry mouth, and I started time skipping. So you would like close your eyes and I'd be on the next block on the way to Panda Express. And we pull up to Panda Express. And you were in the bathroom. And this is what I say. What's up, uh, Silver Max? Never do this again. <laughs> but may I add that was the best motherfucking Panda Express I've ever had in my life. Like I feel that. like a lot of people have a really bad first or second experience, and then a lot of people just stop, and so they're like, "Oh, I don't but, like it." But you always, which is totally fine. Like, but then sometimes people like do it again, and then they end up loving it. That's why I'm always like, like "Did you smoke a joint? Yeah. And were you in a good environment? Because yeah. maybe you would like." I it. literally said, "This is the worst feeling you've ever felt. Don't do this again." <laughs> And look at me now. Well, the first time I, I got high, my... I snuck out with one of my ex-boyfriends and we smoked. I didn't even fucking get high. I was just paranoid as fuck because my dad's a cop. <clears throat> and I was sneaking out and then went home high. See, my parents didn't give a fuck because they knew I had goals. <laughs> I was like, bro, pops, I just want to come home and sleep so I can get gains. You ain't got to worry about it, nothing else, okay? I'm going to be home on time because I got to get my eight hours. You feel me? Yeah, that's how my parents were until I got, like, arrested, like, three times. <laughs> like, actually, real talk, if you can't fucking function, function without it, yeah. I functioned pretty motherfucking well up on that stage, baby. It's just crazy how much of a mindset thing it is, though, because whenever I was, like, heavy smoking, it was, like, I went on, I would go on trips, and then I'd be like, oh, my gosh, I can't sleep, like, oh, wait. It was, like, miserable. But then now, I just don't think about it. It's not like a yeah. crutch or anything, so whenever I travel, I don't think about it at all. Whenever I smoke for the first time, it's like 
105 degrees, middle of summer, Jackson in Mississippi, and we were on this watchtower that was like above everything. Wait. And we smoke like a Swisher Sweet. I smoke it. I lay back on my back, and then it's like Call of Duty regeneration mode. <coughs> I'm like, Phew. I remember I was leaning back. I go, dude, I don't really like feel this shit, and I like lay down. And come up, I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. Whoa. It's either that or when you stand what? up and you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, but then we were chilling and stuff until yeah. homie just starts throwing up off of this tower for oh. like 30 minutes. And then he's like nah. laying like this, like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> and then, dude, I was just chilling, having a good time until I like started looking at him and like got fixated at him. And I was like, oh, that I threw up. That's the only time I ever greened oh, out. But it was like, I saw this dude greening out. The best part was we were in the car afterwards. It was just like chaos. We're like, we're chilling in his car, we're not driving. And then he just keeps falling asleep and then hits his head on the horn. And I'm like, Hur. and then it's like, oh fuck. And then he like sits up and then- While he's I, driving? No, 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 he's just chilling. Like we're just- parked. Oh, oh. And then we have Justin in the back seat and this dude, Justin is just freestyling to no beat. <laughs> Mandatory rap battle. We're saving that for later. Mandatory, mandatory rap battle? Mandatory. Yeah. And then after that, my mom calls me. Oh. And then you hear Justin just keeps rapping in the background. Oh, no. And then, and then he's like, I got up, 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 and then, and I'm like, hey, what's up, mom? Like, I'm chilling. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. <laughs> it was always as a teenager, your mom just happened to call you. Like, it was oh, always yeah. the worst. I have no idea what that parent shit is like that reaction. They didn't have to worry about shit. I never got in trouble. This is 28 minutes long, bro. I was, yeah, I just never got caught. It was literally only by the police. Like, really? I never got caught oh by my, my parents. I got caught one time for a jewel I in never... seventh grade. And then I got arrested on three different occasions. Nothing's on my record, but... Hiking and shit. Going this way. Going oh. to the waterfall and shit. Jump off some cliffs, baby. Go up there. Oh. <laughs> Bro, keep walking. What's the craziest hike you've uh, ever no. been on, Jason? Dude, King's Peak in Utah. Three days, 28 miles. You gotta backpack everything in, everything Jeez. out. People were running it in one day, up and down. <laughs> training. That's crazy. Have you done, um, what's it called? Mount Tipinogos? Yeah, down there in Orem? Yeah. Yeah, they just did it like three weeks ago too, the boys. Oh, word. Yeah, me and my buddy Tato did it last year. We were like 11 o'clock at night and it was his last day in town with me. And just then- Flashlights and shit? Dude, yeah, but we got like really, really stoned. And then we were like, yo, we had no inclination to like actually go climb it, but we were like, let's go hike this thing. Fuck it, yeah, let's go hike. But basically we got up there like 4 a.m. and it was so cold, dude, well, because dude, we ran it too quick. Timpanogos is so pretty up there, dude. I think me and my buddy Noah from <laughs> He's from Austin. We're gonna go hike the base camp next year of Everest. <laughs> I'm a fucking mountain bro. Oh shit. I write songs about Songs about you. 
on the lookout. Yeah. Look at that beaut. Spending time, spending out tour. I decided it wasn't pure. Born before the virus was cured. Pitch perfect, violence on the floor. Fast forward, honest on my skull. That's what that voice in your head says when you try Fast to get forward, peace and of mind. Got the hands out like they acknowledging the fjord. Rewind, nice track six. Rewind, dance crazes. Read my mind, free my mind, feed my mind, make sense. Just like mirrors on the wall. That's what that voice in your head says when you try to get peace of mind. Flick it up. We got dinner. We got it, boy. <laughs> Still beating. You can take. You can take a bite, Bridger. I'm gonna take oh. it. Ready? You can spit it out. Get that. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> 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 All the way, bro. Hey, bad. <laughs> bite, bro. Wait, Bridger. Wait, wait. Chew it. Chew it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't devastated, but you could have.